Hello, welcome to this week's problem of the week. Uh, for this problem, uh, we're trying to determine how many orderings um, A1, A2, uh, up to 8, A8 um, of the positive integers 1 through 8, um, such that um, A1 minus A2 plus A3 minus A4 uh, plus A5 minus A6 plus A7 minus A8 is equal to 0. Um, so in this problem, or in this ordering, uh, we have uh, four integers that are positive, four integers that are negative. Um, so the sum of the four integers with a positive, or that are positive, um, have to equal the sum of the four integers that are negative. Um, so the first thing we will do is figure out um, how many sets of four um, add up to 18. Um, so what we're going to do is just find um, we're going to find the number of or number of sets, excuse me, of four, um, such that their sum is 18 because the sum of one through eight is equal to 36. Um, so half will be or four will sum to 18. Uh, four will sum other four will also sum to 18. Um, so we're going to look at just the sets um, that contain a one. Um, so we find that there are four sets containing a 1 um, whose sum is 18. Um, so we have uh, 1, 2, 7, 8, 1, 3, 6, 8, 1, 4, 5, 8, and 1, 4, 6, 7. Um, now each of these sets um, will have a corresponding set whose sum will also be 18, uh, which won't contain 1. And for uh, brevity's sake, we, won't write, we will not write them all out. Um, so we have of uh, these four sets, um, and so these can either be um, positive or they can all be negative. Um, and so we'll just make a note of that. Um, and so for each of these sets, um, if we set them as positive, um, so A1, A3, A5, and A7, um, there will be uh, four factorial ways to order um, any given set. Um, and then also uh, for the negative sets, uh, again, there will be uh, four factorial ways to order uh, that. Um, so we'll make a note of that as well. Uh, so as you can see, um, we determined that there are four possible pairs of sets um, who um, would sum up to zero, um, depending on if they're positive or negative. And we have to account for the fact that um, for each possible pairing of sets, um, a set with a one can either be positive or negative. And then for the positive set, we have four factorial ways to order it. And for the negative set, we have four factorial ways to order it. Um, so now all that has to be done is we'll multiply um, all these factors together um, to get uh, the number of orderings that uh, fit this criterion. Uh, so as you can see, uh, all we did is we take 4 up here uh, times 2 because of positive or minus, positive or negative, excuse me, um, and then four factorial, 4 factorial ways to order the positive set and four factorial ways to order the negative set. And our final answer is 4,608 uh, possible orderings. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our website, centerofmath.org. Thank you.